evening everyone, I'm Marcus, and welcome- uh, Why am I saying it so quickly? <laughs> Good evening everyone, I'm Marcus, and welcome to the Robber Room. <laughs> I don't know why I was saying that so quickly, I just uh, I like to do my intro, I like to say it real fast. I don't know. Uh, no? I may have saved in between episodes. That may be a thing I do. Uh, let's start- let's- let's- let's at least get everyone to level 19. Let's have an entire team that is higher than our rival's highest level. That would be awesome. No idea why I'm speaking like that. I keep, like, speaking in weird ways today. I just... I'm just gonna dizzy punch. You have poison? Oh, it's not gonna make a difference. Oh yeah, mine has poison! Right, ah, uh, duh! It comes with poison! <laughs> Chicken! Now we're beside a poison. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> uh, yeah, teacher, ticket, that was that <laughs> Uh, 13, you are weak to ice, right? You are, you are weak to ice. I'm just gonna go to Marie and not have to deal with this. Version 2. But it failed! Why did it fail? How does conversion work in this game? <laughs> You're lowering my attack. That is actually a good strategy. I'm just gonna continue arm thrusting. It's not really meant for this kind of Pokemon. <laughs> That's why it doesn't have it naturally. Stop ever dancing! I will switch back and then switch back again. You have my word. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's still doing a lot of damage to you, regardless of your favorite dance. Why are you only hitting twice? Marie! Marie! Are you lulling it into a set, full sense of security? Are you lulling it into a full sense of security so you can destroy its entire world? I don't know how we got into this topic. I was still too. <laughs> It could have been more, but it stops once the Pokemon is faded. I mean, die. Yep. Anyway. Ultra has been fighting. This is actually a pretty good... This is actually a really good place to train. It's got some nice variety to it in terms of Pokemon that, to fight. And none of them really have any overpowered moves, unlike some roots. Like some Pokemon Slowpoke. <laughs> Not naming any. <laughs> you are poisoned! <laughs> I forgot Fertra had a poison point. One of the best reasons to have it in the team. Uh, I am not going to bother dizzy punching right now because that is too much damage. Also, I want to save the, the points for the move. Actually, probably what I was already saying. Anyway. So we're going to do a bit of training here, and then we're going to go fight the rival. Our rival is going to uh, go down in flames. Probably. I have no idea what they have. All I know is that they have their starter, uh, which may or may not have evolved at this point. So we will see. <laughs> you just got poisoned again. Ha! Ah! Yeah, Spectre is apparently a perfect counter to this Combuskin. Uh, I don't think I need to dizzy punch it. I think even if I don't knock it out, poison will. And I still knocked it out anyway. We're getting a lot of Pokemon having having smelling salts. I've noticed. Alright, Fertrus now also at <laughs> level 19. Honestly, worth just keeping it out for now. Alright. We're gonna get, like we were doing, we were trying to get our Pokemon to level 20. Once they get a Pokemon to level 20, we're gonna go fight the rival who, uh, who has a highest Pokemon of level 18. So I wanna be above them at all times, just cause I know the rival could potentially throw out something insane. And I don't wanna have to deal with that. I noticed Dizzy Points hasn't confused anything yet. Also, he's not poisoned this time yet. I'm gonna try bind. Yeah, just as a point waster, because it's got so little health left. 
getting quite a lot of experience every time. Uh, if I don't switch po from one Pokemon to another, they get a lot of experience. Which is uh, pretty good. Umbreon, however, is one where I do not want to keep anyone in against, really. Ooh. You have ice moves. You are super effective against Furtra. I am not keeping Furtra in. We're just gonna set Maria out again. <laughs> I almost... <laughs> I almost hesitated. I'm front! I'm frost! Let's go! That's two hits. Why are you stuck on two hits? <laughs> How many times do you have to use arm thrust before you'll go over two hits? I, I can't even tell if that was supposed to be more or not. <laughs> I can't even tell if that was more or not. <laughs> because it stops once the Pokemon faints. Dies. Petra is not having a good time with this. Every Umbreon keeps just jumping out of the woodwork. I mean, something is trained up Marie. Marie doesn't really need the extra training because we're just going to have a Marie fight Umbreon. <laughs> I don't think Powder Snow's secondary effect of freezing works. I don't think you can freeze an ice type in this generation. I'm not 100% sure. It co I could be completely wrong. We also have Iron Arm Frost in this uh, Pokemon, so it's super effective and hits multiple times. Hey, you got to free attacks! Well done, Marie! Well done, Marie! It, it hasn't frozen it yet, so I have an idea that it probably do won't. I'm wondering if it also doesn't freeze up fire types either. Or if it's just that they can break out of it. Because the only Pokemon that's frozen so far has been Espeon, which is Psychic. Which, yeah, of course it's affected by ice. <laughs> And I'm not putting that Furtra out against it, because I'm pretty sure Poison is weak to ice. So, we're just sending Marie in each time. If Marie ends up getting frozen, then we will move to another Pokemon that can do damage. Simple. If not, well, Marie is kind of almost like a perfect counter to this Umbreon. It does a lot of hits, so you can't reduce its damage below, like, 5 damage. At least. Uh, well, not even least. I guess it's 2 damage at least. Oh, it's now a Psychic type! I have Return if Arm Frost doesn't work. <laughs> I do a lot of damage. It takes a lot of damage, I guess. I can't really do anything hugely damaging against Marie either, so it's not exactly a problematic thing. Gosh, it's warm in here. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god! Arm Frost just trying to cool us down at this point. It's, it's so warm in here, I... I can't think. But Umbreon apparently can. It's just trying to cool us down. So it went to Poison type at one point, Psychic to another, so it's gotta be random. The version's gotta be random. Hey! That was a crit with three times, right? Furtra, you're finally. No, not Furtra. Marie, you're finally trying! Furtra has finished fighting. In fact, Furtra didn't fight for those last. I think four battles, because I think they were all Umbreons. Alright. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, Ace's turn. Terry's going last, because Terry's like my strongest guy. Doesn't really need to be a level 20. Fire versus fire. I don't think Ace can do a huge amount of damage against this guy. Let's see what happens if I can... Can I poison powder him? I want to try and poison him. Silverwind, what is that? Is that super effective or not? Not very effective, okay. So you took more damage that turn despite me not actually doing a damaging move, but I'm gonna use Payday. What are your other moves, Tokal? Tail Glow, you raise your special attack, if I recall, yeah? Right, you got your Tail Glow, you got your uh, Wind thing that doesn't seem to do much. Uh, anything else, Tokal? Have I learned other moves from you before? 
I know you have Tail Glow. You keep using it. I don't think if you've used anything else. He is constantly being hurt by the poison. I'm just going to pay the hell out of him so I can make some money out of this game. <laughs> We're making money out of just trading. I didn't go and grab any Pokeballs, did I? Hmm. Probably get some. Although, I could probably wait until I have some roots to Ash and Deer. Although, if I do beat the rival, there is a route above here that is will be available that I can catch Pokemon on. And uh, it'll be pretty much lower than our team currently, so... It'll be an easy way to... Yeah, I'm... You know what? I'm just gonna payday you right now. I was just thinking about it, and... Umbreon isn't even that... Okay. Okay. It just... It just, it just changed the game a lot. Marie, out you come. <laughs> I'll be honest, just the training for Marie at this point. And hey, it's already lost some health, so Arm Frost is probably going to do a huge amount. Yeah, it only takes two. <laughs> and it was a crit! Bye, Umbreon! He's down. And he's down! Taken down from the word go. Why am I thinking of Pokemon Coliseum? Is it Coliseum? Stadium. Why am I thinking of Pokemon Stadium? I don't know how I keep getting those two mixed up. Alright, Ace. Uh, you know what, Ace? You at least try to make an attack. Because I can make money off this. <laughs> Battle Snow isn't going to really do that much damage to Ace. Ace is uh, resistant. Yeah. I think he can still potentially freeze, but... No, I'm just going to payday. Yeah. Gotta make that money out of that content. <laughs> Even if it is <laughs> Pokemon money. Let's go. Are we 12 minutes in already and I, I still haven't gotten to the rival fight? Come on. Come on, game. I've got the heal as well. This is why I don't want to rush back too much. Oh, you're kidding me. One attack away. Guy does not want to go down. But, hey, the more paydays we hit him with, the more money we have. And the more money we have, the better. Ace training is just our money making. And Ace got to level 20 off of that. And we never had to bring in Marie either. That was pretty good. Alright, two Pokemon left. We have Marie and Terry. I'm going to bring... Uh, you know what? Let's switch Terry in. We're going to go Terry. We're going to bring Terry in. Marie's going to be the last person to get to level 20. Because... Uh, or it might not be if I have to switch it in at any point. I don't think any of these Pokemon have fire moves anyway, so we're good. Uh, let me see how much damage Steel Wing does, if if anything. It's not very effective. Okay, so if anything was the answer. Silver Wind. I don't know what type that was. Not very effective. Is it Steel? It might be Steel. That might be why I didn't do very much against that fire, uh, Resident Fire type. Oh, you had Poison Tank. I forgot you had that. That's right, oh, that's all it used against our fire, resident fire type. Fly is pretty much the only move we can do a huge amount of damage with here. Although, I guess I could have just used uh, the tail. Iron, iron tail, steel wing, whatever it was. Terry grew a level! That did not take long. Alright, the only person on left. Without level 20. Marie, and you are half down on your health. Let's hope we get an Umbreon fight. Hey! Marie gets to take all the experience from this fight this time. And gets to attack on the first turn. <laughs> Crit! <laughs> we said three times. Yes! Umbreon went down! Oh, it's not enough. It's not enough. Marie needs more. 
That's all cool, you know what I wanted. I'll try and arm for us, see how much damage it does. I don't know if it's gonna be very effective at all. Hit two times. Not not very effective. Probably just got high defense. His raising is special. I'm gonna try another arm for us, see how much damage I can do with that. That's a crit, that's nice. Worth doing. Only two again. But it got a crit this time, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I'm going to use a return to finish this off, and hopefully it should do enough damage. Yeah. We should start with return next time. I'm really low on arm first, but not on, not on returns. Never mind, it's an umbrella. It's what we got for dinner. Wait, what? <laughs> It's what's for dinner. <laughs> Super effective, hit two times. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> Jeez. That two turn freaking hit. That two hit. That two hit turn. On a move that's supposed to like average out about three or so. Jeez. And there's Marie's level up. We are going to go fight our rival next. Oh, what should I bring out against him first? Oh, I have no idea what his team's going to be, but he's going to end up with his Tyro. Or an evolved form of it. Maybe Hitmonlee, Hitmontop, Hitmonchan. Oh, I have no idea what he's going to have. Ooh. He might still have a Tyro. Might not be ready for it to evolve yet. But it could be. Depends on the level. Uh, depends on what level it evolves at, actually. Uh, now that I think about it, it might not evolve into like level 20 or so. I don't actually know what level it evolves at. So. Yeah, time for our rival fight. Oh my god, it's been a long time since we last fought our rival. Alright, who's coming out first in my team? That That is the big question. Who is going to be first? Because... Terry would be a powerful start. But would also be able to block some stuff. Ace could not really do huge amounts. Virtue would counter a few things. Marie's quite heavy defensively. And Ness is a bit of a glass cannon. If anything, we'd want Ness out front just to uh, deal some damage and then get out. This has got the water attacks so we can deal with fire Pokemon if they end up coming up. I think it's only a special attacker though, isn't it? It's huge on the special attack. And it's level 20, so it might be able to knock some stuff out pretty quickly. Oh, it's risky suing my starter first. The game doesn't like it when I use my starter. But we're going for it! Oh. Oh, it's Ryan, I remember now. Oh, you are evolved it. <laughs> Back now. <laughs> He's got four Pokemon, we've got five! He started off with an ex Executor! That is a big heavyweight! Okay, uh, I'm gonna attempt a Dragon Breath to start off with and hope for a Paralysis. Yes! I think it's a slow Pokemon anyway. Steel Wing. That's not too much damage, not in comparison to what we can do. I'm gonna attempt to drop its Paralysis with the Smelly Salt and see how much damage that does. Please knock it out. Oh no, it's not even close. Okay, I should have didn't bother. Losing a lot of health here. Well, you might have to swap Ness out. But we got his first one down. Oh no! I need to attack here and now. Bubble Beam is going to be super effective. I didn't know what hit him! Ness is MVP! Ness is OP! <laughs> and got a level on top. Now our strongest again, once again. He has a Squirtle. Hmm. Dragon Breath. And it's paralyzed right off the bat. I 
I wonder if I should minimize to reduce the chances of me getting... The next Pokemon, however... We may be able to finish this with just Ness. I may be a bit OP. I was expecting the rival to be tougher, especially with that Executor start. There's that Tyrogue! Got his level 18, it's his highest level. It's also not that tough. I'm gonna bubble beam. Wait, what does Dragon Claw do? Okay, good. It's not the one that does 40. That was Dragon Rage I was thinking of. I'm just gonna bubble beam again. We're done. That's the rival. We're <laughs> we did all that training and Ness did everything. Oh, I'm so glad I didn't lose anyone. Oh, I was worried about the rival so much. Ness, you can take a well-earned break. We got some trainers to fight on here. We're not done with the risk. Fame checker. All right, we do need to, we do need to heal Ness. But it is interesting that we managed to defeat him. I could, I probably could have taken him before getting him to level twenty. To be fair. It might have been a slightly more of a struggle, but honestly, I'm I'm happier that it's not a struggle because I can actually go freaking get up to this route without issues. Once again, when we fight him in the future, his his team will be randomized again, which I believe the next fight is on the SSM, so we're not that far from it. Um, because we don't have a Cerulean gym because we haven't had a Cerulean gym. Oh, what if, what if Bill's house gives us the Cerulean Gym? That'd be so funny. Alright, so this is the Nugget Bridge on Route 24, which is a new route we can catch Pokemon on. <coughs> uh, we don't want Ness out front. Ness has had their fight for now. We're going to bring Marie out for this fight uh, against the Bug Catcher. <coughs> Let's see if I can beat these five. What does this bug catcher got? He's got four Pokemon. He's starting with a Celio, which, uh, ice? Is that water ice? Let's see what Arm Frost does. That's a lot of damage. <coughs> okay, Celio is going. He's digging. The thing about dig is, it doesn't affect flying types. <laughs> uh, they're really kind of destroyed. Totodile! I don't really have anything that's really good against this. Oh, he's going to endure in his first turn. Well, you're enduring yourself against nothing. And fly happened the next turn, so it doesn't count towards endure. <coughs> uh, <coughs> he's working with a steel type. What's good against steel? Ground? Fighting? Ooh, fighting. I'll switch back to Marie for this. See what Beldum does. Hyper Beam! Interesting. We have our physical defender here in Marie, so we're good to keep going even though we know we've got that. Because anyone else is actually going to crumble before it, so Marie was a good choice here. But even if that had hit. The high power move. But we have huge physical defenses, and now it has to recharge for a turn. It's also not special. Actually, no, it's a physical attack in this generation, isn't it? That was also a first form, so it's not going to do a huge amount. Ooh, a Rhyhorn. Again, Arm Frost will do really well. Okay, follow me just. Yeah, follow me just 
makes us target him. We were already going to do that. More of a double battle move. Kind of a bit pointless when you're not in double battles, but okay, if, if you want to go down. That's actually rather easy too. Ah, uh, Pokemon. I'll put Ace out front and see what we find here. It's second! Now it's serious! So serious. A nugget bridge. Chimeco! I forget your typing. I'll pay day, see what happens. Hey, not a steel type. Using hidden power. And it didn't do all that much. I'm gonna continue payday if that's your, your best move. Wish. Okay, but doesn't it take a few turns for Wish to get grounded? You kind of just... Bye, Charmeco! Does it affect your other Pokemon if your Pokemon dies? Charmeco's Wish came true. Since his HP is already full. You were a bug type, right? Not a huge amount I can do as a counter. Fine. Uh, I'm going to go with Swift just to um, drop his health a bit. Yeah, I'm worried about stuff like Seismic Toss. That does health damage based on the level of the Pokemon using it. Which being level 12, did 12 damage. Ace is doing really well. Venonat is the final Pokemon in this team. I'm going to Swift right up the bat. Got quite a bit of damage to it, so uh Okay, it's doing an uproar, which is a sound based move. It is quite high power, but on such a weak Pokemon it's not that useful. Okay, Venonite is down. We are doing really well. Ace girl level. Ace is trying to learn scary face. What does scary face do? Probably reduces speed. That could be useful. Hmm. Oh, Facade is my strongest move. I didn't realize that. I thought Swift was. I've been using Facade before now. I don't really have a place. I, can, I could replace Payday, but I don't want to do that. I don't have a place for Scary Face. On Ace. <laughs> I just realized how many freaking rhyme couplets I had there. Trio, I guess. Wrong trio. Perfecto. Alright, Ace and Marie have taken some damage, so we're actually going to switch Furtra out. I'm basically bringing each person out one by one to do some damage. Because they leveled up. They need, they need to show off a little bit each. Leveled them up. If not using them is kind of sad. Another Chime Echo. I leveled this time, but still another Chime Echo. I'm going to Dizzy Punch it, because I already know that's going to hit. Not a huge amount of damage. It used Gust. Okay, Chimeco has Gust. Not sure how to think of thinking about that, but okay. Okay, it's getting its Wish. Uh, I don't think it gets it to its next turn, so... Bit of a waste. I'm going to Smelling Salt you. Finish you off. Dangerous itself is full. I wish it was useless. So I can switch into um, another Pokemon if I need to. I know exactly which one to switch into if Dangoon or Zangus starts doing some damage. Using Scary Face, which is what we just got, which lowers speed. The Fertress fine, Fertress just gonna. Oh, you snapped out of it already? Jeez. Razor Leaf! Okay, interesting choice. Not good against Furcher though. Grass is not good against Poison. And you are confused again. I'm just 
just gonna smelling salt in this, I, I think. Oh, you also have Dizzy Punch! Okay! Didn't know you had that. Okay. It's a, it's a just battles of surprises right now. Yes, we're almost at the end of Nugget Bridge. Uh, the only one who hasn't really had a turn to fight is Terry, who kind of did because Marie gave like half of their turn. I'm going to switch Terry in. And I think we'll go for at least one more fight on the bridge. Number four, getting tired. Not really. <laughs> you guys are actually kind of pathetic compared to my rival. Got a muck. Okay, muck. Is that the physically defensive one or the special defensive one? It's also poison, so steel wing's not going to do much. I'm going to fly. Do what it has in terms of moves. It has uproar, but it missed. Okay. I missed as well. That's not good. You have nightshade. Right. I know not to bring my Esprit on it now. You have uproar, nightshade, uproar again. How did you miss twice in a row, Terry? Doing the same thing. I believe nightshade does exactly 16 damage. So I'm switching out to... What's good against poison? I don't really have anything that's good against poison. Nass would actually be the best choice here. I'm going to say since it only does 19 per, I'm going to fly up. Probably going to do uproar again. Yep. Am I going to miss? Finally hit the damn thing. It's ingraining. Okay, it has ingrain as well. It's going to get health back each turn. I didn't attack it, so we're going to go flying again. Ingrain is going to give it health its turn though, which is bad for us. As long as we can hit it, we should be good. It's so close to death. It only has one move we haven't seen yet. I'm going to try and steel wing and hope that I can do enough damage. It's gone. There, go, there it goes. Ituri got his fight in there, and that was quite a tough fight for Turi. Kill Pokemon. You're flying. I'm actually going to switch to Ness. Helmet Punch. Okay. I believe Bubble Beam is going to deal enough damage. I don't know if it'll do enough damage. I don't know if it'll do. It's it. it might not be super effective. Pretty good damage. And full swipe is not a great move, so we're gonna keep going with this. Comic punch was the risk. But it looks like we got our reward. It's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go heal up after this. <laughs> too many of my Pokemon took a bit too many hits. And Terry had the worst time of it. Alright. Now I'm going to wrap this up, this episode up uh, on route. So, as we head on back, thanks everyone so much for watching. But for now, I don't have a bike, by the way. But for now, we're done here. I just need to go heal, and then we're good. Alright then. Go get into the Pokemon Center. I thought it would take longer to wrap up, to be fair. But it doesn't wrap up until I say... Two specific words. Even then, I sometimes say stuff afterwards. And those two words are... See ya. <laughs> I'm going to say stuff afterwards.